Welcome everybody back for some more Cal's Clips reactions. Today guys, we are actually looking at 10 of the most expensive YouTuber houses there is. Now, this video was recorded six months ago. Obviously, you know, YouTubers like to swap and change houses all the time because they got that bread. I don't think mine is going to feature in this somehow. Yeah, let's go ahead and have a little look at this. It's titled 10 most expensive YouTuber homes. Let's run it. YouTube is some seriously big business. But geez, wait, was that JJ there from his music video? It's some seriously Jeez. big business. Obviously fake money in his hands, the big fraud. As it grew, it transformed normal, regular kids into internet celebrities. Uh -huh. All of a sudden, anyone and everyone could upload their very own videos. Regular Joes who would have otherwise worked nine to five quickly rose to fame. Let me tell you, there's a lot of YouTubers out there who wouldn't have been able to work a nine to five. Let's just say that there's a lot of YouTubers out there that are very very lucky that YouTube worked out for them. Part of their own bedrooms. Like that man right there. Serious bucks too. The more views, the more advertising dollars, the bigger Jeez. the payday. And just like any celebrity, when you have the money, what are you going to spend it on? Well, all things luxury, but most definitely kicking back in style. I'm not gonna lie, Logan's house might be one of my favorites. I think it's so sick. I love the fact that it's very different to the generic modern houses. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's get it on. David Dobrik. Well, you want to start with a with a trending topic? Here we go. Vakian Superstar began his career as a 17-year-old on the now defunct platform Vine back in 2003. RIP Vine. After his seven seconds of fame was over and Vine went bust, he switched to YouTube and has never looked back since. Amassing over 18 million subscribers over his two channels and racking up over 8 billion views, Outrageous. this vlogger and prankster now has a net worth of over $7 million. Let me tell you, it is way more than that. <laughs> it's no surprise he recently shelled out on this six-bedroom, seven bathroom mansion in the Long Ridge Estates neighborhood of Sherman. This gaff is mental, by the way. I've seen his tour. This gaff is honestly crazy. So it's good to see that this is actually relatively updated. I thought they might show like the old David Dobrik house. Oaks. Dobrik apparently paid 9.5 million. How can they say earlier in the video that his net worth is 7 million? Prankster now has a net worth of over 7 million dollars. And now he's saying he owns a nine and a half million dollar video. I mean, make it make sense for me. Similarly to the FaZe Mansion, this house has also accommodated a number of celebrities before. Jesus Christ, I don't have COVID. Please, please. For this time around, David hopes that his fans will respect his privacy and stop visiting his house. Yeah. With the security that his house entails, I'm sure that's very possible. Logan Paul. Here we go, Logan. Logan. Paul was best known for his crazy stunts and antics on the now dead video app Vine, transferring his success. Notice how all these Donnies with just like uh, mega followings, all the peas, all the sickest houses, they all started on Vine. Whereas me, I started with QPR career mode. You can see the difference here, guys. But you better believe that numbers like that translate into fat stacks of cash. He snapped up a home in the San Fernando Valley, LA for $6.6 .6 million. So which really isn't sick. that much when you consider he's worth almost $20 million at just 25 years old inside again it's probably more that's one thing i noticed a lot of the times they severely underestimate a youtuber's net worth in my opinion look he wouldn't have spent what was it like two million dollars on pokemon like boxes i would argue if i was to hazard a guess here i would say between 30 to 50 million bathrooms a fully decked out gym podcast studio and polished concrete and marble in every decadent room the boys can chill out and watch a movie Sick. in their private home cinema and those crazy parties are well supplied by the wine cellar below outside it's a monstrous estate the home looks like a ski resort in the hamptons while the huge pool and they've added in fake clouds those are not real clouds why have they done that the ultra plush green grass extends down the back covering more area than a football field jake so paul sick. Young oh god, do we have to have this guy here? Looking to outdo his big bro, he dropped $9 million on a stupidly big mansion, reportedly annoying all his neighbors with party after party. The exterior of the home gives off a- Could you imagine having to live next to Jake Paul? Before, he lived at a different place, and that was just way worse. Like, his neighbors were literally right next to him. This one, it seems like he's got a bit of space between him and the neighbors, so- And there's a weird red statue in the middle of his driveway of a man trying to hold up cardboard boxes. The can you, can you fucking not? Like, Harry's answered the door. Like, there's no need to ring it twice. Just patience. 
Anyway, sorry, back to this video. Complete with a stream and waterfall. The entrance leads to a spiral staircase that I'm not a big all fan of this house. Three though. stories. The sound echoing around. I know that sounds stupid, and obviously, like, look, if you put me in it, I'm I'm I'll enjoy myself in there. But if I was to choose to spend nine million dollars on something, I don't think it would have been that house, personally. It's just not my flavor. I feel like this house is like when you go to McDonald's and you take off all the toppings and you're just left with a plain cheeseburger. Now, some people quite like that, and you know what? When I'm drunk and I'm hungover, I, I enjoy just a plain cheeseburger. The house sounds like they're in a church. He shares the house with his friends as well as his management company for social media standouts. The home is ultra modern. Covers 15,000 ultra modern? Not sure I back that. But honestly, mate, this thing is like a castle. Look how high these ceilings are. It looks sick. Home cinema, full gym, indoor sauna room, oh. library, you name it, they have it. Fuck, this video's calling me poor in so many languages. Ah! And the master bedroom has a glass sealed aromatherapy room for de-stressing after what? a long day of counting his 19 million dollar fortune. A glass aromatherapy, what, so you just go in there and you go, <sighs> fuck I'm ready to be a prick. <laughs> Ace family. The Ace, the Ace family. family. Now, I actually don't know much about this family, and I feel like people in the UK really don't know much about them, but they're always brought up as the, you know, the top of the top when it comes to YouTube. My ex NCAA basketball guard Austin and ex Victoria's Secret model Catherine. They initially focused on making prank and challenge videos, but since having two small children, their YouTube channel has shifted toward more wholesome, family based content. 19 million subscribers contributing to a $25 million net worth. They Max. built a $10 million forever home that was actually initially two large homes that have since been merged into one I just don't know what to say guys the inside is almost completely white floor tiles walls mm. and marble bench tops artistic pieces such as a black grand piano spheres umbrellas and oversized anchor chain in the double height atrium breaks up the stark white interior the kids rooms are jam-packed with toys while the master bedroom is fully glazed giving a 180 degree view of the valley mountain range and sunset there's a gaming room with retro arcade machines and even an orange felt pool table to match the lambo it's james charles mad. Oh my god! Beauty and makeup icon James Charles made his start on YouTube right. back in 2015 when he was just. Do you reckon there's a YouTuber that actually owns like a helicopter? Who's gonna be the first YouTuber to buy themselves a private jet? And each video of his averages to at least 5 million views, which is almost. Yeah, same as me, to be honest. So that was a fucking lie. The views alone bring in this baby faced entrepreneur an estimated $5 million a year, with the New York beauty mogul worth around $12 million. His side gigs have wow. also netted him a. I think these are shooting low. Let me tell you, these makeup people, they absolutely cake it. Spacious seven million dollar starter mansion Ooh, in Los Angeles. Very nice. The six bedroom. Wait, did they just say a starter mansion? A seven million dollar starter mansion. Oh right, okay, yeah. And bathroom residence is complete with maid quarters. I think this is called the butler's area. I think this is like for where you know the peasants live. Out back, the pool and spa are surrounded Yo, by a cabana that and looks large sick. open kitchen. I like this house a lot. You know, maybe I need to get myself a little starter mansion. Phase clan. A Come on, FaZe, what we saying? Plays together, games and slays together. The FaZe clan are a group of friends who've made it big in American esports mm -hmm. and are world famous for their videos of them pulling off some amazing trick shots. These were the good old days. Family members rent out an insane house in Burbank, California for $80,000 a month, dubbed the FaZe. $80,000 thousand dollars a month you are looking at like just shy of a million and it's close to a million dollars a year private each bedroom has a full gaming and streaming setup with blinding fast low latency internet connection the backyard is made for man children featuring a full-size i like it goals, outdoor again it's got a bit of character about it out of the other ones like i'm not too sure where it stands the property comes with not only an in-ground pool but its own private lake stocked with bass the Okay, that is actually pretty sick. Th these Donnies have their own lake with fish in it that they can fish. You know, what? I'm just gonna go catch me some fish for tonight. But actually, these aren't making. They've got a chef. Previous occupant Justin Bieber installed gigantic electric oh. blue crocodile statues by the lakeside because huh, why not? This is Bieber's old gaff, as you did. Jeffrey Star. 
Jeffrey Star Day is a true entrepreneur. Scott. He was one of the earliest internet celebs, the starting out man. as a moderately successful MySpace musician. From there, he's grown a hugely popular YouTube makeup beauty channel with his own line of cosmetics, and business is booming. He's it worth is. well over 200 million. Hi! Oh my God! But the thing is, Jeffrey Star is first and foremost as a business person, and then like the YouTube stuff seems to come like, almost secondary now. Thing with gold and diamonds, as well as dropping 14. What? Point five million dollars on a man. You gotta have a walkie-talkie to talk to your friends in this house. I promise you. The home wraps around the pool and bungalow what? area. On three sides overlooking the valley below. Guests entering the nine-bedroom, fourteen-bathroom home are greeted by a double staircase and chandelier descending from the vaulted ceilings, giving them the feeling they've just stepped into a grand ballroom. <clears throat> no expense has been spared. There are even slushy and popcorn machines in his full-size thirty-seater home cinema, and pinball machines fill the secret gaming room nearby. I can't. I cannot believe that. Casey Neistat revolutionized the way money is made on YouTube. He started off in a trailer park and figured out that building a channel and tapping into the infinitely more lucrative market of paid sponsorship was the way ahead. By doing away with boring ads and embedding products into his content, buying a $3.7 million house okay. in Venice, California, the house is actually built around oh, the wow. pool area and is designed with entertaining guests in mind. The See, this is something a little bit more achievable. I really like this place. The use of timber inside and out uses a design based off the look of a classic Swedish sauna. The timber textures are picked up in all of the furniture, even the couches, mm. throw cushions, and tables. A lot of the second story ceiling consists of exposed timber beams and glazing. Manny Koshman. Unlike other YouTubers, Manny Koshbin didn't make his money online, instead raking in his $80 million fortune over three decades buying and selling real estate, and is a true self-made uh, man. Uh, this doesn't really count. I, would, I feel like it should be people that made their peas or, you know, started on YouTube. In Hill, California's most luxurious estate, a sprawling Mediterranean-style mansion that costs a whopping $34 million. Whoa. There's a 16-car subterranean garage, complete with showroom downlights and suites of antique armor to have house's collection of exotic cars. Yeah, the pool yeah, area yeah. is paved in stone imported from Italy, with its own fire pit and views of the valley below. 1%. 1% are a group are of these? six professional Fortnite Who the fuck are these guys? Oh, I've never heard of these guys. 1%. Previous Why owners not? left a white baby grand piano in the living room, played on by old blue eyes himself, Frank Sinatra. Each of the team have their As own bedroom, mini lounge room, and bathroom, decked out with a top-of-the-line gaming PC and streaming desk. The theater room has a projector and wall screen with- I'm not gonna lie. If your gaff is really that nice and what, you can only fit five people in your cinema room. Stinker alert. All right, so there it is, guys. That is- I mean, I don't know if there's one that I can fit. I actually really like Casey Nice. That's one, but if it wasn't his, James Charles gaff was nice. Now, anyways, let me know down below which one was your favorite. I uh, hope you guys have a fantastic day. And of course, if you're new around here, hit subscribe. And, uh, drop us a little comment on what you thought about these gaffs. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Laters.